Before we discuss any other options in the API management, let's first of all understand the developer portal in API management. Let's look at what are the different features, capabilities developer portal offers within the API management. Let's jump into the Azure portal. Under the Azure portal inside API management, developer portal can be accessed from multiple places such as it can be accessed from this particular link or from this URL or you have the dedicated settings panel available for the developer portal wherein you can go and configure the or verify the settings of the developer portal and you can access the developer portal directly from here. Let's click on this option wherein it Let's click on the developer portal option. As you can see, the developer portal is trying to use the your Azure credential with the help of single sign-on capabilities to open the developer portal default feature. If you open the developer portal and if you are not getting the same overview or the layout, that means your API management is not been published. So very first thing you might want to do is you want to publish your developer portal right from here using the publish option. Once you click on publish, wait for a minute or two and then you should have this particular option available. Currently my developer portal is open in a edit mode. You can see that I have the option to modify its layout. If you wish to open the developer portal in a non edit mode, my recommendation is to open the same URL on the incognito or use some other browser. If you are opting for the very first time, you might get the same experience like this. So what you can do is you can publish the developer portal right from here. And you can see that it's trying to publish. It might take a minute or two. Meanwhile, it is getting published. Let's look at the developer portal different sections of the developer portal here you can see you have the home page layout and then you have got the url options for apis products and the signing option if you wish to change the layout of the api management you can directly change it from here you click on the any of the section let's say i would like to change from here i would say welcome to the uh, learner and here I can change it. Once you change that, you wish to save it and then publish it. Here is how the developer portal has been published and I can access the portal right from here. If I click on APIs or the APIs which has been published, I can see here any products which has been exposed is available here. I can go and sign in to any of my APIs. So once I so I've successfully logged into the developer portal using the, using my own Gmail account. And now I, I as a external user or external provider whom I would like to pursue the APIs hosted by be a learner. I would like to expose the APIs right from here or consume the API from here so I can consume the APIs and find the API details from this API section or I can find the API details from the product section. So what is the product basically? Product is the logical grouping of APIs which holds one or more APIs and its metadata and a user can basically subscribe to these products and then once you, they subscribe to the product they get a dedicated secure key associated with this product and using that particular secure key they can consume the api in a secure fashion so for example if the product is marked as a uh, subscription requires it means uh, any consumer needs to subscribe to the product and once they uh, subscribe to the product they will receive a key and then a key can be used to consume the API. So let's jump into the Azure portal and create. On the API section, you have the product section. You get the default two products. So let's create our very first product. We'll call the conference product. 
it provide the detail this is, and further you have the settings called do you wish to publish the pro product onto the portal once you click on publish it would be uh, available on the developer portal for the, any user to consume it next option is require subscription do you wish to offer a subscription or you would like to expose your product without any subscription by default without security which is not recommended and that's the reason by default this option was selected next is the require approval so even though let's say somebody is subscribing to a product do you wish to manage those subscription by your api administrator so that let's say if i am subscribing to a product then subscription request will go to the administrator and then administrator will make a decision whether this is a requester is a legitimate user or the organization or not and based on their uh, due diligence they would basically either approve and reject the subscription so that uh, once uh, after a subscription approval they would have the valid user to you know they, they would be valid user to consume the APIs available within the product. Next option is the number of subscription count limit. This is where uh, you might want to, you know, make a decision on a specific product wise. For example, some of the product you might want to be limit your subscription count to one or two, but some of the product you wish you are okay to, uh, you know, extend a limit to maybe 10 20 or hundreds of them or if you leave it blank then unlimited products uh, the unlimited time or single user can subscribe to the same product so uh, the number of time a particular user is going to subscribe to the product they will have number of different uh, subscription key to use your apis okay so let's consider the limit of the subscription as a two so only Two different subscription a single user can perform on this particular product here you can provide uh, all your legal terms and condition which a user would require to accept put some details around here now next and last very uh, important thing here is you can attach an apis to the product which you can attach it to later stage as well so if i click create i can create the or attach the API after the product has been created so by default the access control has been managed through the uh, to the to the administrator only I'll show you what does it means so now let's go to the product and here on this settings you can verify the same setting or modify the same setting if you wish to and on the API you can attach an API to this particular product once I click on the add you get the option to select an API so here I'm selecting this particular API at the moment my API does not contains multiple versions so that's the reason that a version is not coming here so all the operations available in this API is now part of this particular product if you wish to attach in a dedicated policy to the this particular product you can apply the policy on a product level as well we'll check the policies uh, on a different section just let's leave it for now and now here on the detail section you can get the uh, different subscriptions uh, so this is the subscription view on a product basis so how many subscribers are uh, subscribed to this particular product you can get the entire detail filter out from here or how many subscription requests have been pending against this particular product you can find it out very easily from here so let's click on save i think it's already been saved now let's um, move back to the developer portal let's refresh the portal again and see if we have got the got our product we haven't received a product uh, the conference product which we have created the reason for that is if you go to the product setting again the access control you can see the access control for this particular product has been basically 
restricted only to till the administrator group it means anybody who belongs to an administrator group would be able to view this particular product and i as in my gmail user i'm not part of that administrator group that's the reason i'm not able to view that particular product so in order to expose the product to a different group because as i am a subscribed valid user i belongs to a developer group and how do you verify that particular user belongs to that group you can go to the developer portal you have various options you have the group option wherein you can create and manage your existing or you can you can manage your existing groups you can create a new groups to your api management from here and you can click on the groups you can see the members of the group and you can see that uh, there are two members one is the gmail user which I just now subscribe it sign up to so once you sign up to the api management by default you add it to the development group or developers group and that's when uh, any api which has been exposed to this particular group will be uh, available to all the members available within this particular group so now in order to expose the api to uh, my gmail group what i need to do is i need to expose this particular group to the developers group as well so i can go to the access control within the conference product i can add the api to the this group and then okay and this group is, now the api has been exposed to the developers group as well one thing to remember here is all the APIs by default will be exposed to administrator so that administrator can manage your products and APIs from the portal. Now let's go to the developer portal and refresh again. And this time I have my conference product available to consume. Now I can go to the product and find the detail of the APIs from here. Here you can see all the operations available within these APIs.